y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. Those bars of gold, those cobblestones, those bricks of clay were no problem to obtain. However, these 15 blaze rods remain. I've decided to create a second portal adjacent my vault portal through which we might enter the nether. I have not used this portal yet. Anything could be waiting on the other side. Last time we went into the nether through a portal over by World Spawn, we got attacked by ghosts. And we're also in a soul sand area and probably about to be attacked by ghosts. So let's be very ready for that. Probably we don't want to be by the edge there. Okay. So unfortunately, this is not looking like a fortress here. We can kind of fly around a little bit. Wow, the fog in this area feels worse than usual. I don't love that. There's no sign of a fortress below us here. Whoopsie, ghosts. Told you. Told you there were ghosts. Yep, there's a bunch of ghosts up there now tracking toward us too. Don't love that. Okay. Fireball is not ready yet, but we've got swords. Okay. Luckily, the fireball does not put out the portal. Okay. So, how do we determine which direction to head? That seems to be a ghost heading right toward us as well. Okay. In theory, now that we've cleared out the ghost, what we want to do is we want to mark a... Whoa! Is there a way to... Wait, is that a fortress? No, that's a... I was going to say we should put a marker where our portal is here. So, Uh-oh. I was going to say, I see a yellow dot moving toward me real quick. More yellow dots. Not great. Huh, they make pigman noises. I wonder if they're ghosts of zombie pigmen. Okay. Core concept. We're going to make a waypoint for our... Create waypoint. Uh, Joe base portal. Okay. Now, we're going to look at the areas of the nether we have gotten on the map. And do we see anything that looks like a fortress? That looks like a bastion, which I don't think bastions have blazes in them. I dug out pretty far that way, and it doesn't look like we found a fortress. What is that? Is that another... Ooh, is that a fortress tunnel there? Maybe we go back out into the overworld, and we try to find one from the world spawn portal. Time skip! So we have traveled through the world spawn portal. I'm trying to reach what looks like some sort of castle thing down here. It looks like the tunnel is below this area that I'm in. And I've discovered these, and I don't know what these are. They look neat, though. Hmm. If I silk touch them, I can pick them up. Monzonite rod. Huh. Mon... Mon... Architect's palette. Interesting. They're purely... Architectural? Interesting. Okay, well, this curves around here a ways, but then tapers off and actually gets further from where we want to be. I think we wanted to be about here before we start digging down. We are continuing to dig toward the tunnel that we hope will lead us to a terrible fortress. Uh-oh. Somebody actually blocked that off on purpose there. So we seem to be dropping right down in the middle of the tunnel. Let's see if we can go off to one side here. We're going to light that up to get a little bit of extra illumination here. Okay, so we need blaze rods. According to our map, this goes further south here quite a ways. There's some flying around circles there. There's some stuff there. I think the yellow ones are mobs. I'm not sure. I feel like there's a button that I can press 
to make the mini map show that's not it um i do want to enable my lightning powers though is it caps lock is it tab I feel like there's a button that I can press to make the mob heads show up. Oh, you know what? It's actually... It's not tab. It's whatever you had bound player list to. Interesting. Which in my case is definitely not tab, because why would I do that? Okay. So, someone has definitely been through here. Ooh, there's a blaze back that way, actually. It looks like. Wow, really far up that way. Whereas... So you can kind of see as you move, get a sense of the distance by how much the angle changes as you approach them. It looks like there's a blaze just up around here. We need 15 blaze rods, which is kind of a lot. Oh, dang it, he's... Where is he? He's up that way? Hmm... How do I get up? Oh, no, he's there. Found him. Okay, the problem is we need him to come toward us. You see how he activates? We need him to fly toward us because we don't have the ability to easily retrieve his corpse from over there. Also, if I can kill him with a sword with looting on it, that's going to be better than killing him with magic. Okay, can we get to that tunnel from here? Nope, there he is. Okay. Did we get any blaze rods? It's hard to say. Did they fall off a cliff? Maybe. Maybe they fell directly into the lava. Dang it. Yeah, it does not look like we picked up a blaze rod there. Having a twice... Whoa. Are we in range of a spawner? Because it sounds like two blazes are spawned. Okay, it sounds like this is a good place for blazes. Four blazes. We got more... We got more blazes everywhere here. But how do we get them to come to us? Oh, they're all down there. Okay. Ooh, there's a crossbow guy too. We need them to track us over into here. They will generally come toward us if they need to. Honestly, if there's a whole spawner though here, we can just actually, like, we don't have to worry about looting. I was worried with the one guy. I mean, we've killed, there's some. We're going to need to make a way down. This is maybe not my best plan ever. Okay, yep, there's definitely the spawner itself is right there. So, if we can come around this way, maybe. Welcome to the spawner. We got blaze you can get. Okay. See, now the question is, what's the best way to go recover the rods that we've dropped already? Not that. That's not it. Okay. Hmm. I mean, on the plus side, we're spawning a lot of them, which is what we want. The downside is that we don't have a good way to recover the rods that fall. Hmm. We need to make a stairwell down to there. And then hope that there's not still like a Pigman guy who's mad at us. Okay, so we're going to put a lightning cloud over us here to make it easier to get in and out real quick. 
I mean, needing all these blaze rods is a modded problem, so we're gonna use the magic, which is a modded solution. Okay. And what's our count on blaze rods? Six so far. That's okay. Like I said, if I could use the sword here. I feel like the magnet might pull stuff from over here. Ah! Thank you, Smite. Whoa, that was too close to me. That was a little bit of an error. The magnet's trying to pull those. Got him. Okay. Getting a few more here. Let's eat a delicious steak, maybe. Yeah, this is, this is basically a blaze farm now. If we just stand here, and then we hit the blazes with the sword when they come to us. Uh, yeah, I'm also looking at that. Let's maybe close that off real quick. Can we bring that guy lower? They should drift downward, I think, if they don't have a bead on us. And now we have that lightning to protect us here. I think we've cleared them all out. We picked up all the ones that fell. Is that lightning still in play? No, it is not. Okay. Does cleanse heal fire or clear fire? That's a good question too. Ah, I need to get better at throwing that. How are we doing on... Okay, we're up to 30. That's more than we need. Now, in theory, though, we came all the way out here. So, it feels like... We should maybe just harvest a few extra, right? Whoa! That one's right in front of me. Okay. Backpack again, 39. That, that feels like an appropriate number of extra. But you know what? We need to restore our mana before we go on a big trip anyway. Forty-four. I really like that smite ability. I might have to look at leveling that up. Because, yeah, what if I got that at level one? which is currently doing double my ability power with one strike. My ability power is 47 right now because I don't have my armor on. 58 when I put the armor on. That's even better. Yeah, I should probably have the armor on. It's not like I need to be flying right now. Okay, we're definitely close enough to be activating that. Whoops. XP completed the vault. GG. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I wonder if we've maxed out, like, maybe maybe this, this game has, like, a max that a f uh, farm uh, can generate, like, maybe I have to leave and come back for it to trigger again. I feel like this was a successful run. We got 50 blaze rods. We've got a bunch of blazes here. Why is... Oh, I, I just used the lightning. Oh, can I throw the fireball over there? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty. So, sorry, not 50, 61 blaze rods. Whoops, that's a different way down. We want to go up. We're going to be heading back the way we came. Which, luckily, I paid very close attention to. And we'll have no problems getting back to world spawn from here. Time skip. I'm excited to take the vault compass and our double pouches back into the vault and try and get something good. Here we go. Throw in those on there. 
Do, 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 do. Now, I do want to experiment a little bit with the vault compasses too while we're in there. I have heard that you can actually resynchronize the vault compass with something else. So I'm bringing two compasses in to see if we can keep one pointed to the exit and point the other one somewhere else. A champion's abode vault. What does that mean? Plus 10 chance for champions to spawn. Ooh, and it's elixir vault. So, for example, the idea of having the compass be able to be changed is, let's say we found a lodestone, we could point the compass at our lodestone. Um, now, having two vault uh, compasses, we could keep one possibly pointed back at the exit here and then point the other one at the lodestone. Now, there's no real strong incentive for us to skip the first room this time. I am just gonna check and see if there's a lodestone in here. Uh-oh, I hear things spawning. I wonder if it's a champion. Are they spawning above us? They're probably spawning above us. I hear skeletons. Hmm. Or maybe they're spawning down here. Hello, a bunch of skeletons or zombies or whatever. Also this guy. Yep. That was maybe not your your best choice. Okay. So, looks like we've got some wooden chests to start off with. Oh yeah, I forgot because it's an elixir vault. We got to check and see which things give us the most elixirs. It seems like we got some decent ones from killing those skeleton zombie water log guys. The chests, uh, not so much. So, here we go. We've got no more beginner's grace, so we do have to make sure that we actually exit the vault. I probably should be a little bit more urgent about this. I'm just, like, having fun being inside of a vault again. It has been a busy few days. Okay, so we are going to run this way. Ooh. Whoa, what is this room? It... Uh-oh. We've already... Ooh, there's a champion back there, too. Okay, champion spider with a poison ability. So we want to run backwards long enough for our magic to respawn. That is going to be crucial here. Okay. Did he lose us? Whoa, what? Uh-oh. Whoa, he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage. Okay. Well, we got some unidentified vault boots there. I guess we could try to identify those as we go. Uh, why is my vial not out? Let's grab my vial with our healing vial. Oh no, if the vial was in a container, sometimes it doesn't work when you get into the vault. So is it going to work? Nope, nope. Okay, so we have no healing from the vial in this vault. Oh, boy. That's going to put us at a disadvantage. I really screwed that up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crossbow guys. Ranged attack guys while we don't have... Um... You guys come to me. Okay. Okay. So, let's go back into that room. It seems like it's a pretty special room. 4x soul shard, 24x soul shard. Whoa, what is that? That, that looks like another magical ability thing around some people. These guys are running pretty fast. 29 soul shards. Oh. That is a creeper. That is a champion creeper. I've never seen a champion creeper before. He's moving very slowly. Because he's probably got like turtle master powers or something. This is not optimal. I'm figuring if we can hit him with the fireball would have been a good choice. Okay. 
Okay. This is fine. We're going to get another fireball very soon. I'm really worried with them opening a vault. We're going to get, like... Okay. Let's try and actually hit him this time. Okay. That was maybe... Not perfect. He's just slowly coming toward us. Okay, now we're at full health. Our mana will regen faster, at least. Now, we don't have enough mana to do our lightning attack just yet. Or we can do another fireball. Can we get that to explode around him? Nope. Uh-oh. I'm in a hole. So we've hit him a few times. Like, he's got something that looks like it shatters weapons on him as an effect, which I don't love. That also kind of worries me. Okay, that right there is a hole, and holes like that are where the fireball can get trapped. But we're also... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some sort of magic effect there. Boom. Okay, the lightning. Unidentified focus. We can see what those are real quick. Also, these vault boots, do they have better ability power than the one we have? 14... Less armor, but honestly, extra ability power in a vault full of bad things. Not necessarily terrible. 14 mana, additional poison avoidance. Okay. We don't really need either of those right now. Sorry, I've gotten so... We're, we're wasting a lot of time, I'm realizing. We need, to, we need to move. I got so caught up with that menacing creeper there, because I've never seen a champion creeper before, but I'm assuming... I was like, his blast radius is going to be just gigantic. Okay. I saw another champion symbol, I think, back there. Okay, we got two more guys here. This is just like a vault or a room full of stuff, which, I mean, if we get elixirs from killing guys anyway, it's probably good. TNT. I hear some people running toward me, it sounds like. Which way were they coming from? Down there, maybe? Spiders somewhere. Oh, gilded chests. Uh-oh. Yeah, champion. 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 Whoa, wrong way, wrong way. Did not mean to do that. Woo, okay, okay. That was not the best way to handle that situation. I acknowledge that fully. Uh, okay. Narrator. No! Narrator. 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 Okay, unidentified wand level 20. Let's identify that while we heal. Okay. Yeah, because we don't have beginner's grace anymore. A gorgeous wand transmog. 14 ability power. That's cool. Um, let's keep healing real quick. So it says plus 10% chance for champions, but I feel like we're generating a lot higher chance than that. Okay. Yeah, they're breaking down that door there. Is that working? Are they actually breaking down that door? Maybe we just open the door and then, uh-oh, immediately a champion. Okay, so... Yes. Okay, that was great fireballing. Okay. Wait, did that wand have plus 6% increased ability power? I've got 58 ability power now, so hold on. It's gonna take a second. It's gonna take thirty seconds for that wand to heat back up, which in a vault is maybe not the best time to be swapping out wands. But oh, wait, is that an Omega Shield we got too? We can maybe trade that with somebody. Let's roll that. Whoa, that's gonna look cool whenever it's done. In the meantime, though, we gotta keep spawning stuff if we want to have a chance to actually loot any of these chests. I'm hearing more guys 
Emberwing Dragon Shield. That sounds like an awesome name. Where are they? I hear them on ladders or something. We need to pull a bunch of them toward us right now while we've got that lightning active. There we go. There's one. Let's also grab all this stuff. Does this door go anywhere? That does not. Dang it. I think gilded chests give us a lot of elixir power, though. So that's good. Where are they? I hear them. Are they upstairs, maybe? Yeah, those gilded chests are giving us a lot of energy. Oh, that was a cactus. There's, like, spawners everywhere in here. Champion! Okay, running. Running. Run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in, run in. That guy has an axe. That's not great. Not a lot of healing. Woo! Whoa, that was a bad idea to run into the fireball, but I saw that green line there. What was the green? Unidentified vault helmet. And we got an unidentified relic fragment. We got a lot of good stuff. That shield looks awesome, too, real quick. Okay. Um, increased attack damage. 16 ability power on this helmet. Yes, please. Oh, and it's bunny ears. Okay. Our ability power is up to 70 now. Our healing is still terrible. Okay, so worst case, we can run back out that exit door. But let's see if we can find a lodestone in one of the other nearby rooms while we heal up. Okay, so this is this has clearly been a very profitable vault run already. Oh, lodestone. We were going to try and change our vault compass to point to that. Can we do that? Okay. Now, does that affect both of them? It does. Both of them now point there. Okay, so carrying two vault compasses does not help us. That was part of what we were trying to prove one way or the other. Let's see if we can actually loot these gilded chests. Spider. There's a bunch of stuff up there. We're going to kill it all with the lightning. And then harvest... I think what we might need to do here is actually just run past a bunch of these, activating all of these spawners. Dang it, that was a mistake. There's a slime. Having a cloud of poison behind us here isn't necessarily bad. Yep, see, they, they all... Hit the uh, slime cloud there on the way in. Nice. Fireball? Okay. So then we can loot some more of those gilded chests there. If we can get up to full health... That'll give us our mana boost again. So there actually is a strong incentive for us to get to full health. We are one half heart away from full health now. Oh, there's some gilded chests in that room, too. Oh. Whoa, where did that guy come from? He, like, didn't see me either. Dang it, I'm backing into cacti when I need to be regenerating my, uh... Cacti freaking me out. Okay. 
so in theory, the lightning cloud cleared this space enough that we can loot this chest and head up here. I'm hearing a spider. But we are almost at full... Okay, we're at load some stone consumption tier now. Okay. Okay, we're gonna run back out this way real quick after we see... Well, hold on. We might need to... Maybe we try and pull some more mobs. It sounds like there's guys in there. I don't think we got any. Hmm. Well, maybe we close the door again. And we just check this. That's a fake door. Okay. What about that? That's, that's a trap chest. Champion! Okay. The champion is definitely after us. Whoa, that one's like a zombie guy. Okay, that's creepier, slightly. He's fast and thorough. Okay, so we need to get the champion into a thundercloud. Where is the champion? Where did the champion go? We just saw him back here. Did he kill himself on the cactus? I find that unlikely. Is he down there, maybe? Okay, there's another swarm of them. Did he go down in that cave there trying to track me up here? Dang it. I feel like we're getting a lot of soul shards, at least. I feel like he probably went down there. I mean, I hear so many of these guys. Is that a lantern? Okay. That was maybe a bad idea. Hmm. So I wonder if there's anything inside the cactus. And... Hey, it looks like there is! So we might want to come back and lightning bolt the inside of the cactus once we can. But you know what? I think... Whoa! Okay. Let's stand not next to the TNT real quick and do some inventory management. Let's do some inventory management. Narrator. No! Narrates all. Narrator. Narrator. Off. <sighs> okay. That is the worst, and I hate it. So let's go stand close to the inside of the cactus here. Ooh, a rune. That's helpful. And then we're going to shoot that into there. Ooh, that seemed like it was pretty effective. I feel like we could probably safely attack the inside of this now ourselves. Whoops. I'm hearing stuff spawn. Whoa! Are they coming out for us? Is one of them a champion? Nope. Okay. We can take these guys. We got a Duoski sword ski. And we got four minutes. Omega gilded chest. Nice. Common gilded chest. Okay. Now, I don't think the baby slimes can hurt us. Whoa! Is that a big one? No, it was just too close to me. Dang it! I thought it was a... Uh, that was a mistake.
Whoa, champion creeper. Champion creeper. Okay, can we hit him with a lightning bolt? He's got, ooh, he's got some abilities. He's got some abilities I don't like. I don't like those abilities there on that champion creeper. So we are going to wait for him to enter this area here. Then we're going to hit him with that. Nice. That's the way to do it. Unidentified focus, vault bronze. That's a non-champion creeper. I realize, in retrospect, having a creeper blow up at all near all this TNT is probably not smart. But, you know what? I'm not here to be smart. I'm here to be vault hunting. Okay. That is a spider up there. I think we want to pilot ourselves up that way. Epic gilded chest, rare gilded chest, and then I think we need to go this way. I hope none of these chests actually explode, because a chest exploding next to TNT would probably be very bad. If I had to guess how bad that would be, I would say very. Okay, we're getting a lot of these cool gems that I haven't seen before. Whoops. Dang it. That was a big waste of mana. Okay. So... What if we go over here? Okay, those guys are dead. We can grab that. How are we for time? 1 minute and 47 seconds. That feels like not a lot of time. Uh-oh, champion. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, that guy took a lot of hits from the lightning there. Unidentified magnet? I'll take it. Okay, I feel like it's time for us to make a break for it. Our vault compass shows where we need to go, however. Because we have already locked the compass to the lodestone. Let's see, it takes us about that long to get there. So we've explored three rooms of this vault. But, in fairness, one of them was particularly amazing, what with all those champions. I'm hoping I get a ton of experience from this. Vault completed. Woo! I just need to not die in the next 14 seconds or whatever. Oh no! Okay, 24,000 experience. Uh... Got a lot of mobs taken care of. One unspent skill point. Thanks. So let's go inside of our house here and see if we can unlock anything special. Because uh, we had picked up an unidentified magnet and an unidentified focus. They both seem to be yellow, which I think is rare. So let's see. This magnet gives you additional mining speed. It has a higher range, the same velocity as my current one. Gives me plus three item quantity and plus eight disarm, uh, disarm chance. That doesn't seem bad. Another dreamstone. I don't even know what dreamstones are used for. Mystical essence, vault catalyst, and paradoxical gem. Uh, combine with a sealed divine paradox crystal and run to wipe and reset your... Okay, well that's probably pretty later on in the game stuff. Ooh, ancient copper ingot. That looks like just for visuals. That's cool. Chip jewel with gilded affinity. Plus nine trap disarm chance. Ooh, smelting. That'll cook things as we go. Uh, additional reach and durability and trap disarm chance and reach. Yeah, we're definitely getting some new stuff now that we're level 20. I was not really seeing a lot of this stuff before. Okay, so from in here, this vault shield, what does this look like? I think we're going to switch to F5 mode. And, whoa, that is a pretty wild vault shield. Looks like a ram or something. Now, the thing is, it's got soul, plus 20% soul chance, plus 6 resistance, thorns damage, knockback resist, 10% block chance. 
I mean, that doesn't seem bad, but because we're doing a magic build and this plus six increased ability power is amazing, we are definitely going to hold on to this. So, yeah, that is that is that. Um, whoa, I'm looking at the camera instead of looking down here. These blank runes, though, these let you enchant things and then change the color. So, like, instead of having glowing feather falling boots that are that color, I could have, like, green ones, which would be cool. But I think we want to hold on to that until we get exactly the gear we want. Let's put this down here. So these boots we got 14 ability power plus item quantity plus item rarity. I feel like even though they've got a slightly lower armor because the other ones are plus 10 armor, the ability power is really what's saving our lives here. Um, so what does that bring our overall ability power up to? 71.55. So we are going to have to enchant those anyway with Feather Falling. Oops. Um, so we need emeralds. I'm like, what are the green things called? If we come over here and we throw those new boots in to get Feather Falling on them. Unbreaking 3 also sounds good. Depth Strider 3, sure. And uh, Soul Speed, why not? Okay, so now we've got these pretty well enchanted. And then we can take the Lime Die and this Rune here, and then we combine that with these. Oh wait, do we need to do that in an Anvil maybe? Luckily we got a stack of those over here. So now when we put these boots on, Whoa, look at that. We got green Yeti fuzz or fur or whatever. That looks pretty cool. Okay, I like it. So are these actually the same set as these are the druid? So they, oh, that's a grizzly and a squire. So what do we have here? Guardian bunny or bunny guardian omega thing. Like, I mean, I these look great because they have additional uh, armor, Ability, power, health, increased attack damage, cooldown reduction, trap disarm chance. Increased area of effect is going to be huge with our area of effect spells. So, okay. This is very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get organized a little bit. We are going to throw the extra magic silk, dreamstone, relic booster pack. I, I still don't know. Oh, so it sounds like we got one. Is this a relic? Sword stick relic fragment. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now we have a relic fragment. I don't know where to put those, so I'm just going to put it over here for right now. We'll, we'll sort that out later. Do I have any other of those relic booster packs? Yeah, we got seven. Because I think you had to be level 20 to get any of these. Okay, so we got a second uh, mystic gem essence relic fragment. Okay. So I think we need five pieces of... Wait, oh, we got some more of those. That's fine. Doesn't always have to be a win. I have freed up my inventory space so we can find out what's in this elixir crate. Ooh, a moat of purity. Removes a random curse from a vault crystal. A chip jewel with durability. Another moat of clarity that removes all curses. A rare plus vault sword. A common plus vault axe, a blank seal, a summer augment, trap disarm chance jewel, ornate affinity and shoveling jewel, soulbound jewel. I don't know what soulbound is. That's interesting. Unidentified vault leggings. We could always use some of those. Picking thing, a bounty pearl, eternal soul, and some gold. So let's go ahead and roll the vault leggings, the vault axe, the vault sword, and the unidentified wand. And let's also see what's in this unidentified relic fragment. An Earth Elemental Relic. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll put that in with the rest of our Relic Fragments there. So we've got the Mage Wand Transmog, if we wanted to make our Flower Wand look more like that one. Which I don't think we do. I kind of like the... I feel like I'm like kind of the Easter Bunny right now. 
I've got the bunny ears and the flower wand. I, I feel like that's a pretty good look. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the wand I have. I think that's a little bit better. Um, the vault axe here. We, we already have an axe. I'm not too worried about that. This vault sword, probably not better than my current sword. Um, let me let me swap that to the offhand there. And we can compare those. Yeah, this this new vault sword is nowhere near as good, so we are not going to deal with that. These vault leggings have two ability power compared to 12. It does have plus 5% ability power. So I like that prefix, but the intrinsic here is worthless. The mana regen is nice too. So, I mean, I don't know. So maybe we'll hold on to those. Um, yeah, I should probably be storing some of this surplus stuff, but nobody else is really using wands, so we're just going to throw that into the recycler and hopefully get... Oh, uh, what's this facet? Armor. Okay, that could be helpful sometimes. Oops, I guess if we were, like, trying to get, like, an armor thing. But core concept, we're going to store the rest of those things for other hermits who might need them later. Putting our old wand in there now as well. I still have one unspent skill point, and you know what I realized? I forgot that I had taunt when I went in that vault. I was using all my other abilities, but I forgot to use taunt, which would have been great because it was already at level three, and we were up against, you know, big groups of enemies, and yeah, that was a mistake. I'll admit that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just to make sure I really don't forget to use taunt, I'm going to put another point into it. So we're at four out of eight now. It'll last for seven seconds, and, uh, oh wait, oops, uh, sorry. Yeah, so we're at, we're at four out of eight now on charm. They are going to do damage equal to 100% of our ability power, and it'll last for seven seconds uh, on four targets. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So we are going to try to remember to do that for real this time. And by, by this time, I mean after I go mining. Because I'm out of chromatic iron, so I can't even make a vault crystal. Ooh. Okay, so we've activated one of those spawners in a cave that gives you the mobs that give you the good loot. Now, there is a witch back there. I was hoping to activate this intentionally once I had regenerated all my magics and stuff, which I have not. So instead, we're going to hopefully kill her with that fireball, which we did. Hey, I was going to show you all the spawner, but it's gone now. Okay, what do we get out of there? Um, Antique ink, that's new. What is antique ink used for? Sepia globe? Antique map? I don't know what that's... Maybe it just looks cool. I don't know. But anyway, earlier we did harvest a bunch of raw chromatic iron. That's pretty good. I'm excited about that. Ooh, we got some bone blocks there from those guys. Got some rabbit hides. Zombie school. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. I've been lighting this area up underneath the lush cave because I thought, like, if we need to uh, come back in here and grab some more spore blossoms later, it'd be nice if it was well lit and what have you. We are getting a little low on food, or wait, we were, before I just killed all those fellas. So, you know, good fella killing me. Fantastic, in fact. Okay. Yeah, we had entered down there. Luckily, because I'm the only one who's been through here, all of the places where it's lit is, like, where I've been. Whoops. Uh-oh. That was not how we wanted to do that. Let's just do that. Hey, next problem. I'm going to be able to make one of these upgrade things so much cheaper. Hey, Iskul, is that your doorbell? You throwing javelins at me or something? I heard, like, a bunch of noises that I don't normally hear. I'm assuming that's, like, Iskul landing on top of my house. Hey, Iskul! Oh, do I have my voice mod turned off? Whoops. Okay, so we'll say thanks for the pad. Let's see if it works. Okay, so in theory, this should connect us back to world spawn 
Hey! Woo! So fast. That is so fast. We are back here by our starter house. And then back here. Amazing! Okay, well, Iskal has helped us install our pad. I unfortunately screwed up and don't have the voice mod installed. So I might go and uh, sort that now. Time skip! I have been smelting away all of that chromatic iron we got earlier, so I can make a chest upgrade tool. I think, in theory, we have enough Lorimar and copper in our inventory here. Not enough for upgrading this chest. We need one core, one interface, and 24 walls of at least the material copper. Oh, okay, so I can't just have the raw materials. I think I actually have to turn these chest walls into like copper cores and stuff okay okay that's fine we can do that so let's make uh some colossal chest walls we can make 23 of those really i think we're gonna need to make more than that now we've got 28 walls chest core and an interface and if we click on that boom hey it doesn't even consume the upgrade so now if I click on it again, it'll tell me I need iron ones. Same thing for that one. Okay, so I need to make... This one doesn't have any interfaces, so I just need seven walls and one core of iron. Iron colossal chest core. Boom. And then we should be able to upgrade this one into iron. Yay! Iron colossal chest. And... Now we have way more storage capacity in here. Also, we've upgraded that one earlier to copper, and we have way more storage in there. And it'll become even more once we upgrade that one to iron. So iron colossal chest interface, iron colossal chest core. And then we need to make the iron walls. Which, oh no, we don't have, we seem to have maxed out our iron. Yep, so we're going to have to go iron mining, it looks like, at some point. Because, yeah, we need one core, one interface, and 24 walls of iron. Interesting. Okay, so still, we've made progress toward upgrading both of our chests to iron. We'll just store the extra stuff in here for now. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to store our extra colossal chest stuff back in the storage system for now. We can continue to upgrade this as we gather more materials. I noticed some discrepancies in the number of parts we were getting back each time we did an upgrade. It looks like the chest upgrade module actually kicks back wooden chest pieces when you upgrade to copper, copper pieces when you upgrade to iron, and so on. So this has actually all been way cheaper than I expected. Hey, I'll take it. But you know what I also need to take is my leave. So until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.